Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today I'm going to show you my hot dog cooker. I designed this hot dog cooker specifically for my small little single burner butane camp stove. I think it'll come in quite handy for all of you that like to do camping and that kind of stuff. Plus, it's a nice little project for a lot of you that you know are handy and you want to do something out in the shop and something like this is very easy to make. I'll show you how to make all this. But uh, I'll show you what's going on here. You guys take a look and uh, let's cook a hot dog. Well, let's get started right now. The distance from your base to the top here for your hot dog is nine inches. Now, how did I figure out the nine inches? Well, I stuck my hand here and I thought, you know what, that's hot enough, so let's go with that. So, light her up, away we go, and we'll start cooking. Now, how long is this going to take to cook? Well, I'm going to tell you something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep an eye on the clock there, and it's... Uh, it's not going to take long. Now you can see how you can rotate this, you can turn it around, and uh, you can leave different positions. So sometimes, you know, the hot dog wants to go in one spot all the time. Yeah, you can put it in any position you like. And we'll just see how long it takes, and I'll bring you back when that hot dog it's pretty well done. Now I've got that on the highest temperature right now. This is an 8000 BTU camp stove. You don't want to cook a hot dog too fast. You want it to be cooked all the way through. And as you can see there, yeah, she's starting to cook pretty good, isn't it? So I'll bring you back and I'll let you know how long it took to cook this hot dog. Well, there we are right there. You just take a look at that baby right there. Now I like my hot dogs cooked well done all the way through and that there took 12 minutes I'm in no big hurry to eat but man that thing puts out a lot of heat and I had to actually turn it way down because it was you know a little too hot in the beginning there but as you can see there's no splatter all over a couple little drips came down and that's about it but that is just about the best looking hot dog I've seen in a long time. What do you guys think? Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I exactly built this. So you guys take a look, see what you think. Well, the first thing you have to have is a plan. So everything is all laid out here. And if you take a look right here, this is just 3 16 rod. And I've got some of that copper tubing slipped over top. And uh, I went from this end up to the copper tubing, eight inches. And this is some shrink tubing. And this here is the uh, all thread, the quarter inch all thread. And here's the two nuts that I used. And I just used some uh, plastic washers. And here we go with a 3 16 bit for the 3 16 rod. And we have 13 64ths for a one quarter inch uh, tap, one quarter 20 thread. And you can see I put the tape on here so I know how deep I have to go. So here's just the wooden block by itself. And uh, yeah, I drilled all the way through for the 3 16 and you could see that I didn't drill all the way through. So I needed the, uh, the tape on here with the steps to make sure. So we're just gonna tap that out and I'll show you how that's done. And I put it in the block right here. So let's get to it and let's tap this out. Well, this is just my ratcheting uh, tap wrench. And uh, it's so easy to tap into wood. Of course, it's a lot easier than steel, right? And the uh, thing I like about this ratcheting one is see, you know, you're not twisting around in circles or anything else. And you just gotta bring it down right to where you marked your your tape so you don't go through the other side, right? And that's pretty much it there. And I'll just back it right out. And it just makes a nice thread in there. And I'll do the, the opposite to the other piece. And that's it right there. So if we just take a look at the wooden blocks there, and we can see the distance in between both the holes is about two and five eighths. So that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna bend the rod. Now I've got both ends here 
or have a little bit of a uh, chamfered end on, like a little bit of a point so it goes in easier. And uh, we're going to bend these now. And so I have to come from the base all the way up nine inches. So let's bend these now. Well, that's the setup in my uh, tube bender. And if I just give you a good look there, you could see where I've got an inch of copper just flush with the uh, bender. So now we'll start bending and we'll bend it on a 90 because I want to get at least one inch of this copper on the downside. So let's do that next. Well, let's just bend this. It should bend pretty easy. And right about there. Well, I hope you can see that, but the, uh, the whole idea is from the end of here, you go to the outside, your distance that you want to have in between your two legs. So it's two and five eighths. That's what we need. So let's bend that. Okay, so let's just bend her up. And see how easy that is just like that. And we'll just keep going until it's about right about there. Now, of course, you can tweak it a little bit after, but that's pretty much it right there. And I'll do the other one and I'll bring you back. Well, let's take a look and see what we got done so far. And of course, you can see these just slip in there nice. And I've screwed one end in with the nut and the uh, plastic washer. And at this end here, you can see that's all I have to do. So I just have to measure the distance between here and here to the particular stove. And uh, I'll bring it back when that's done. Okay, let's just uh, heat up this shrink tubing. Shouldn't take much time at all. There you go, it's getting there. Now that was a 5 8 diameter shrink tubing to go over top of this quarter inch all thread. Okay, we've got a little bit more here. And then we'll uh, move on to the last part. And I'll finish uh, pink shrinking this all up and we'll get back to you. It's almost done there. Well, here's where we are so far. I put a couple of shish kebab skewers down here. I got one up here, and as you can see, well, they would just fall off, right? You wouldn't want that. They'd just kind of fall off. So I'm only using one, of course. And uh, because you know what? I can only eat one hot dog at a time. And uh, the shrink wrap looks nice down there. So what are we going to do with this part? Well, that's the reason why I put this copper on here. We're going to get to that next and I'm going to show you how you keep the rod on there all the time so it doesn't slip off. The last thing you want is your hot dog in the ditch. Well you can see the mark that I put on there right in the center. Now all this is is one of my chainsaw files, just a round file. And that's, see how soft this is? You just got to barely touch it, right? See how much that's gone in there already? So what I'm going to do is just put that in there like that and just go all the way around a little bit just to make a nice little groove. And that's all you really need right there. So I'll bring it back when they're both done. Well, there we are right there. We're back for where we started. And that's how easy it is just to make one of these hot dog cookers yourself. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit of an adventure on making your own little hot dog cooker inside. You know what? One of these are just terrific to have. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, so what about the bun? What, what do you do about the bun now? Well, a lot of times you don't even need a bun, do you? A lot of times I just cook up a hot dog and have it with my meal. But for the bun, yeah. Okay, so your regular hot dog buns. So what do you cook them on? Well, I did a video there a long time ago when I showed the best camp stove and I use this one right here.
the best camp stove toaster. For a lot of you that have an off-grid place or a place, uh, you know, like a trailer or go camping or anything, this is bar none the best toaster contraption that I've ever seen. I'll put a link down below and I'll put a link at the end here if you like. But uh, yeah, that's, that, that's pretty well the best toaster I've come across in all these years. And this little unit here, you know what? For one hot dog at a time, doesn't take a lot of time. And you know what? A lot of time, you know, just spending 15, 20 minutes puttering around here and there for a couple of days, just paint it up, just threw some black paint on it and away you go. Thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, well, you're welcome to subscribe, come back again, have some more fun, and we'll make some more unique products too. Cheers.